music. It's hump day, which means it's time for KHK gives back today. We are showing our appreciation of volunteer firefighters who work hard to keep their communities safe. Joining us now is KHK's Isaac Ramirez. Who are we recognizing today, Isaac? And that's right. Today we are traveling to Russ County. We're going to be visiting with the Lanebow Volunteer Fire Department. They have a big event coming up this weekend. And joining us now is James Duke. He's the Assistant Fire Chief with the Lanebow Volunteer Fire Department. Good morning, James. How are you doing this morning? Doing great. Isaac, how are you this morning, sir? I'm doing fantastic. It's always a pleasure to speak with you folks. James, just for the people who might not know, where is Lanebow? Okay, Laneville is 10 miles south of Henderson on FM 225. Let me know about your volunteer fire department. How is it like to work with all those good uh, gals and, and all those uh, men over there? I think it's funny you started out with gals because uh, we actually have several ladies on our uh, fire department. Uh, we have a great Great group of people right now, uh, lots of volunteers. I think we're at, I think we have 16 or 17 uh, volunteers currently. Uh, we're always in need of more. Actually, every, every fire department, uh, every volunteer fire department you hear about is in need of volunteers right now. Um, the volunteerism is just really a, it's a dying breed. So anybody that's interested in volunteer and we would encourage you to contact your local volunteer fire department. James, and that's exactly what I wanted to ask you. Uh, right now, volunteer fire departments really need more volunteers. What does it take? Why should people volunteer? The reason you should volunteer is to help your community. Uh, our, our communities depend on us. When you live out in the county, out in the rural areas, you don't have paid fire departments to take care of you. And those people out there, they, they can't, a lot of them can't take care of themselves. They need the volunteer firemen to come help, help with the fires when a pasture's on fire, their house is on fire, or on, on these medical calls, if someone's having a heart attack, uh, we, we need to go, we, we do CPR, we land helicopters, uh, we, we respond to wrecks, trauma calls, uh, all these people out in the county that are outside paid fire districts, they depend on volunteers. Well, James, you guys are actually going to be having a fun event this weekend. Tell us what's going to be happening out there. Yes, sir. This is our annual uh, street dance fundraiser. Uh, we do barbecue. We start selling barbecue at 11 o'clock on Saturday. Uh, we start selling barbecue at 11 we sell barbecue all day at six o'clock we have a a baked good craft option uh people from the community donate different things and we sell the baked goods and crafts and immediately following the option we have a free concert uh by cody wayne i'm sure a lot of people have heard of cody wayne he he's a local country country music uh star and he comes in and does us a free concert. Hey, I, I'm going to be out there this weekend in Laneville, so I'm definitely going to swing by and get some of that barbecue and bet on those baked goods. It's always a pleasure, James. Again, that event's going to be going on this weekend, and we'll be sure uh, that information is on our website. Have a good one, James. Thank you so much, Isaac. We appreciate y'all. No problem. And again, this is part of KETK Gives Back, where each and every week we recognize a different group of first responders in our area. This is made possible by Peter Chevrolet. Peter Chevrolet has committed to making a donation to one of these uh, groups of first responders that we have recognized through KETK Gives Back. So we are excited to see when that is announced and which one of these groups is going to get those 5000 bucks. I'm Isaac Ramirez, and I'll see you all next week for another edition of KETK Gives Back.